Okay, question number 22 from the specimen paper 2 of the 2020 syllabus. A soccer team plays two matches. Hmm, okay. Let me change it to football team from England. Okay, the, t the tree diagram shows the probability of the team winning or losing the matches. So here the probabilities are all filled in for you. You've got the first match and the second match. So what we have is, um, I'm going to write down here the outcomes. The outcomes. So we got, the outcomes are they win both matches, they win the first and lose the second, they lose the first and win the second, and they lose both matches. Those are the four different outcomes that could happen. And what we need to do is find the probability that the soccer team wins at least one of the two matches. Okay, so at least one means they can win one, they can win the first one, and lose the second one, they can lose the first one and win the second one, or they could win both of the matches. The only thing that doesn't fit here is losing the two matches. So we've got to basically find the probability of these three outcomes. Now to find the probability of each individual outcome, you multiply along the branches. So one third times three quarters will give me this outcome. And one third times one quarter will give me this outcome. And two thirds times three quarters will give me this outcome. Okay, now, however, what we should know is that the sum of all these three outcomes, okay, plus the outcome that doesn't fit will always equal one. The probability of all the outcomes altogether will always be one. So what we can think is instead of finding the product of all these fractions and then adding them together, if I find the, product, the, the outcome that doesn't fit, which is this one here, which is two-thirds times a quarter, if I find that product and subtract it from one, I will have got the same answer as combining all of these together. Okay, so to find an outcome, you multiply along the branches. To combine outcomes, you add, you know, the separate outcomes. Okay, so instead of combining these outcomes by adding them together, I can do the one that doesn't fit minus, one, one minus the one that doesn't fit, and it will give me those. So if I just do um, one minus the probability of loss and a loss, that's one minus two thirds times one quarter, which is equal to one minus, that gives me one over six. So I'm, I'm left with five over six. That's the probability of winning at least one of the two matches. Okay, now I'll just show you that it will give me the same thing. So one third times three quarters, that's going to give me one over four. And one, th one third times a quarter is one over 12. And two thirds times three quarters, threes cancel out, it gives you a half. If I was to add these together, I'd make them all under the same denominator of 12. That's three over 12. That's 1 over 12, and that's 6 over 12. That gives me 10 over 12, which we can see is the same thing as 5 over 6. But it's much easier to just do this. Okay, so if you did either way, it's fine. But, you know, especially if you're short of time, then you should try to think of the quicker ways of answering these questions. And it shows you have a better understanding of the topic as well. So. And it's, sometimes you have eight different outcomes and there's only one that doesn't fit. So instead of finding all seven outcomes and adding them together, if you do one minus the one that doesn't fit, that makes your life a whole lot easier. So there's question number 22. As I said, the other questions can be found in the playlist, which is linked in the description box below. Thank you for watching.